Hi, and welcome to this video on how to create nice HTML emails in AL. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, in this video, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can actually create nice emails, HTML formatted and everything directly out of uh, Business Central, and even have the, the abilities for your end users to customize the emails. Um, so let's get going. I got the uh, my Visual Studio code here ready to go, and um, we this is this is actually a pretty simple thing. So um, let's let's get right into it. We just gonna do something on uh, on the customer list. Um, so I'll create a page extension, uh, customer list email. Just give it a name. Extends the, the customer list. And um, I just want to add an action. Actually, we just want to have an easy way to test this. And we'll add the first. You should never add first in anything, but uh, I'm going to add first anyway. Uh, send mail. Um, caption. Whoa. Uh, send mail. Um, application area. We always need that. And um, then we're ready to go here. So the idea is that I want the email, the body of the email to be something that's not just typed HTML in a, in a, in a string and, and stuff like that, uh, but it's actually something that's usable. So what I wanna do is that I want to use the word uh, a a report with a word layout because check this out if we do report dot save as then we need to add a report number so we'll just pretend that we have a report we don't have that yet parameters we don't care about parameters at this point report format I can save a report in HTML excellent um, I need to save to an, an a out string, so let me, let's create one of those. Out string, out stream. Wow. Uh, and I know for a fact that I'm gonna use need an in stream also, um, and I'm gonna use a, a temp blob. So I'm just gonna create those for for. Um, so I know that. I need to save this in our stream and let's see what the other parameters are. So we have the number, the format, the out stream, and then we need a ref, a record ref. Uh, maybe you guys can see it. So let me make sure you can see it. So we need a record ref. So we need a, for a variable to, uh, a record variable for the report to run on. So let's create one of those record ref and just gonna create a field ref also because let's call it call it f ref f ref um, so I want want my report to run actually let's just create the report while we add it and and you can create a report super super fast with the uh, uh, with the al file wizard uh, go in and say hey I want to create a report and I think I'm for 147 the email customer email let's call it that and this needs to run on the customer table click next I add all fields click finish you can see it it's right behind me there um, and you can see I, I get some some arrows in this one and I get that because the wizard is adding fields that doesn't exist. So this one is out. Um, and then there's a couple more that needs to go out. So we get rid of that and then we get rid of the picture. And we just need to do one more thing. So on the top of the report, Let's make sure that the default layout is Word. 
and let's create a customer email dot dot x that's our template so now i just i type anything here and you can see on on, on this side there is no customer email dot doc x but as soon as i compile i get that document uh, and it it has my data set so we can actually let, let's finish that off so if i go and open that externally let's see what screen work comes up on we got word right here it's not that big um so the way you edit a word layout is that you make sure that you have the developer tab activated uh, otherwise you can right click on the ribbon and say customize the ribbon and make sure that the developer tag is activated sorry it's hard to see on the screen but that's what you need the developer tab not tag anyway in this one i have the xml mapping pane and i can find my data source and i can find the customer because that's one so hello and then let's add the, uh, the the name insert or just insert of plane hello name you live in uh, and then let's insert the uh, the the city right and this is a bold statement and let's make it Let's make it bigger. See, that's beautiful formatted stuff, right? Uh, we could, no, no, let's just keep it that. I save that. That's our template. So we had two merge fields. So report is done, go away. Um, so back to the code. So right now we know we can save the report. We need to find a place to save it in so we can do from from templop create outstream so remember when we need to get stuff into the templop we use an outstream so we're streaming out of the report and into the templop uh, if this is confusing subscribe to the channel and find the video on in out read write confusing directions i go through all the quirkiness of how these things are named so now we can write then we need to make sure that we actually write to um, uh, we, we we create the report on the right on the right customer and it's not about actually sending a record with that customer into the report that's not how it works a report needs a set of filters so we'll do a ref open database customer uh i could do ref open 18 because that's a customer table but who can remember those numbers apart from us dinosaurs so so i could do something like ref open database colon colon customer is much nicer um and um then we need to get our field ref and that's field number one from from the customer and now what we can do on the field ref is we can set a uh, set a filter and the filter we're going to set is simply the the customer number from the customer we are on right now remember we are on a page extension so rec.no will have the customer number of the, the current record perfect so now this field ref is setting a filter on that record ref. Um, so now we have a report generated, we have it in HTML, and we have that put into a templop. So let's get the stuff out of the templop again. So we create an in stream. Um, because let's let's say why am i doing this eric why are you doing this there's something you haven't told us okay let's let's jump ahead and then go back to this one so it makes sense so let me create another variable for the smtp mail code unit so what we want to do here is basically we want to do mail 
create message. Um, and we can see those different parameters uh, and, and, and there's different overloads, sets of overloads. And some of them are no longer valid. So you, as soon as we use them, you'll get an error. Uh, not sure why the ones that are depreciated shows up as, as a tip. Now, that might be a great suggestion for the compiler team to there's no reason to show those. Anyway, the one we're interested in is this one. From name, from address, recipients as a list of text, subject, and a body text. That's what we want. Or perhaps actually even better because we, this is all about a nice email. So we need the one where we have a HTML form and Boolean at the end. So this is what we're aiming for. So I will send the mail from me. I will send it from my email address and I will send it to recipients. So we probably need to wait and I'll just call this mail from BC and I need a body and the body is a text and then this is, is this is HTML formatted. That's it. So we have created a mail, and then the only thing we need to do at the end is mail send. Um, so you can see that we got some things that we need to fix here. The recipients, that was a list of text. So let's create that really, really quick. List of text. There we go. And body is just a text. So we can create that one. And Here's the reason. So, while I why I created the in stream because what we can do with an in stream now is that we can read text. So basically, now we're reading what we have in the blob, which is all the HTML, and putting that into a string variable, a text variable, and that's what we need. So the only thing that's left here is recipients.add, we need to add an email and I'll just add my own again uh, to receive this email. And this is it. So exciting, exciting, exciting. Um, let me run this. I think that's uh, that's probably a good idea. So let me run this and see if uh, it, w it works at all. More option actions send mail. We saw report generated, and that's it. And then I'm just waiting on another screen and I, did that work? Here we go. I just got a mail. Hello, a Datum Corporation, you live in Winnipeg. So we got data merged. This is a bold statement. So we have, um, we have formatting and stuff like that. This is HTML, but we actually created a Word document. So, what a, the end user can do now is actually go into custom report layout. And tell that from this report, come on, come on, you can do it. Come on. So now I broke something. You saw that? Oh, it's getting... There we go. Wow. So now the end user... I'm not going to do this now, but, but just to show now the client can actually edit the content of that mail. So put in their own logos and, and format it the way they like it. So we have created a beautiful mail with data and it's still customizable by uh, the client.
the customer. I, I want to sh just say one more thing uh, because this is, was not meant to be a long video. Um, that what I did here is necessary. Apart from you know, Eric, don't hard code stuff. Yeah, I know that. Um, this is just a simple demo, and and we basically we send a mail in a, in in ten lines of code, which is pretty nice, but report.save as actually returns a boolean so in case of an error uh, it will just ask you something in case of the the layout needing to get updated it will ask you if you run it without encapsulating it inside an if uh, otherwise it will just fail and you have no idea why um, the same with create message and um, and send messages. They, they can also be encapsulated, so you you can you can handle it. And if if you're in a situation where you're running this as part of a batch, and and you don't want a, one mail to fail, and then all the others uh, one mail something wrong with one, and then everything else breaks, you should do proper error handling on 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 all these functions. Um, but that's how easy it actually is to uh, to send a nice HTML email from Business Central in the cloud if you want to. Uh, this is this is this is how I do it for my customers. Um, the only thing that I have encountered that we need to do some a bit of um, trickery on is if the data we have. Um, let me actually show that as a. It's a small bonus thing. Let me actually show that. Let's say that we want to do a link in the email based on some data. Um, we cannot insert those contact uh, boxes in Word with links and, f and, and, and build a dynamic link when we're merging. So what I typically do is that in the Word document, I just add something uh, and then I will do a body equal um, body dot replace and I could say uh, percent 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 uh, uh, home page percent 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 and I'm going to replace that with um, some HTML because now we're just HTML so I could do href equal um, plus rec dot homepage in this case for the customer uh, we probably need to do something like this um, plus and then we need to finish that quote and tag and do home page and finish the tag and there we are so now we have actually replaced just a simple text we have with a bit of HTML and thereby actually build a link. Uh, that's the only quirkiness that that I have discovered in this method. So um, again, if you like stuff like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I got lots more videos coming. And uh, until next time, have a wonderful day.